Mark is as outside of the box as you can get when it comes to string playing. Um, how he looks, the mu type of music that he plays, the venues that he plays. From university level string players, professional string players, high school, junior high, middle school, and elementary school. So I'm able to activate all different types of levels of playing and what I find to be important is that everybody's welcome. Um, so that what every kid from the kid who can barely play an open string to the kid who can play the Vinyovsky Violin Concerto. So we have a real variety of people and personalities and the more people that come and involve themselves with my music the better. You know I think it's great when you can have a, an experience in town that's not sponsored by one individual or one group but when you have multiple four or five different arts organizations from the public schools, the universities, the youth symphony, uh, the adult symphony, uh, different granting agencies who gave us money to bring him in, uh, hotels that donated their rooms, uh, businesses that donated cars so they could drive around town when they were here. When you have um, that many organizations working together for the common goal of bringing uh, a world-class artist to a community, uh, a week-long residency um, makes it all worthwhile. Wherever Mark was, he and Jeff played his drummer, really embraced the students. Uh, I know at MSUM, at the master class where they talked to music industry students, they really said, hey, here's how, this is what the real world is like. And he was, a, they were able to speak, and they actually didn't play very much. It was interesting. They spoke for uh, almost an hour just about what it's like to make your living as a rock musician and, and what it takes to do that. And a number of the things would, would, are, were really surprising. Just a couple, just that beginning. Yeah, if you're finding that you don't, need, you don't have enough to do, go over and start cranking on that thing. That's a great <laughs> instrument. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, I guess you want to just run it one more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we brought him in, for, of course, for a dress rehearsal and a concert. So he came and rehearsed with us for the evening, and we had a, a terrific time. And that was also part of the collaboration because uh, here was the Minnesota State University Orchestra performing at North Dakota State University. So that was a, a great opportunity to use their wonderful space and work together over there. Uh, and then he performed with us the following night. <laughs> University, we really kind of took the, the heavy metal approach and, and did a real rock concert with him because I thought that'd be a great audience to do that. And, and some of the students were even a little slow to warm up because they love the classical tradition. That's what brought them into orchestra. But then once, once the artists are actually there and you put the drums and you plug everything in and you've got the amplifiers going and the students see the energy and they realize it's what they've listened to on their iPods, you know, going from class to class and now they have a chance to experience that live on stage, you know, then there's an excitement and energy that's just hard to replace. Mark Wood came on Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, to work with the Youth Symphony, the Junior High Youth Symphony over at the high school in Moorhead. It's about 75, 80 students, grades 6, 7, and 8, who come from the Fargo Public Schools, Moorhead Schools, West Fargo, and uh, from points beyond. Several of the students got a chance to play the instruments. That was really cool. Uh, strap on the Viper and pick up the bow, and away a lot of them went. So uh, It's the easiest thing I've ever done, because all these kids are ready to, to do something. They're ready for anything. What's that violin? Let me try that out. Let me try this. Let me try that. As they get older into universities, the box starts to get smaller. So what I find to be important in educational experience is the magic word of flexibility. Because kids have flexibility emotionally, they have flexibility intellectually through schools. Musically and artistically, they must also activate that kind of flexibility. I think one of the things, at least being a, a Moorhead music teacher, is I wanted to make sure that when Mark Wood is in town, uh, that every kid, regardless if they were the best all-state viola player or the uh, least experienced fifth grade cello player, got a chance to, to make music with this great artist. And so I, we had to find a time when we could have uh, Mark play with the, the high school orchestra and they planned a concert for that Monday evening when he was in town and he went over in the morning and rehearsed with the chamber orchestra for about an hour and then that concert was that night, uh, I believe they played in the arrangement of uh, one of Vivaldi's Four Seasons. <laughs>
when Mark Wood, when we thought that he was going to come to town, I didn't want it to be an experience just for the orchestra kids. Uh, just for, I, I wanted it to be for everybody. And so I asked our principal, Colleen Tuffer, if uh, she thought it'd be okay to have this uh, Emmy-winning rock violinist uh, play during lunch. I asked Mark about it before and he said, yeah, I'll do anything you want me to do. I'm yours for the week. When Mark, uh, after Mark got off uh, this stage, our cafeteria stage, and he came out and I did, I said, you know, Mark, at Christmas time, you're playing to 20,000 people in Madison Square Garden, you know, sold out audiences, standing room only. And I said, here you are in the middle of the prairie in windswept northern Minnesota. And I said, you're playing for junior high kids eating their lunch off of, you know, plastic trays and styrofoam cups. And he said, you know, that's what it's all about, Brian. He said, that's what it's all about is bringing music to everyone wherever they're at. And so I appreciate his heart. I mean, he has a servant's heart and, uh, and uh, it made it, uh, it made the event for our school. When Mark uh, rehearsed with all our different orchestras in town, be it with the symphony, the youth symphony, uh, the MSUM orchestra, the public school orchestra, he just takes over. He gets up on the conductor's podium and he says, here's how I want it, here's how we do it, here's how we bow, uh, here's how we look when we're done playing. I mean, he not only fills the role of the performer, but uh, he's obviously the role of the conductor. But more than anything, what I appreciated was that he really was an educator. He explained the music to us. He told us the story behind these rock pieces that while many of, many of our students, their parents knew about the tunes, uh, the kids, a lot of these younger kids, the Beatles to them is as far away as uh, Beethoven may seem to you or I. And so they needed some experience and some exposure to, here's why this music is cool. Here's why this music's important. And uh, at all the different rehearsal venues. But I remember the faces of the kids as Mark is up on the, on the podium and uh, playing away. And these kids, you know, they're, they're uh, so used to playing the classic repertoire. And here they are, you know, being told to jam and to stand up and to point their bows in the air. And it was, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those moments you can't plan it. It's one of those moments where the, the kids are met right where they're at with music. And uh, it blew them away, it blew me away. And, uh, it was, it was a special moment to rehearse. I think if I had to pick one of the favorite memory of having Mark in town, it was when he was here, you know, working with the kids in their element and um, at our school. Well, we knew that if Mark Wood was going to come to town, it had to be during a young people's concerts. If the symphony was going to utilize him, that was the venue to do it. When you have thousands, I think last year they played uh, the young people's concerts of the Fargo Morning Symphony. They played for over 3,400 kids. Um, kids are bused from at least a 60 to 70 mile radius from Detroit Lakes and Purim, Crookston, uh, all the Fargo and Moorhead schools come. And so, I mean, it's, it's the big experience for many of these kids to hear orchestral music. Rock music is, of course, a, it's a very loud, dynamic expression. And it's music of our culture. And I think music is, the wonderful thing about music is it has this incredible range. So you can go from a string quartet or a solo sonata to a big orchestra, to a rock concert, and it's all great music. And each kind of music will attract its own audience. But the parents are now communicating to me as much, if not more, than the kids do. The parents come to me and say, I, my kid's practicing more than ever. He's excited. I'm excited because my kid is learning the music that I love. And I feel that you're not pushing aside the historical aspect of music, which is classical music. Because I do Bach every day. I practice classical music. I listen to, I love classical music, but I also love everything else. Well, Mark Wood is not just a rock violinist, but he's also a music educator. Um, every city that he goes to with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, he also goes to the schools in the daytime. So he is a wonderful agent for string playing, for freedom of expression, for the arts and the community. So he is really a, a, an, an artistic diplomat in many ways. Yeah.